Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It's always a backup. So you can... So my question... My question about the future is the past. Yeah. When you were a child, what was your dream car? What you thought it would have? Well, it was whatever was hot at the time, you know. They're like, uh, I think my, I had uncles who had very interesting cars. Uh, I had one uncle who had an eight-cylinder Alfa Romeo with a supercharger that was in 1938-39. And I guess my dream at the time was to have a great big Alfa Romeo sports racing car. How much of that, the childhood sense of transportation is... Uh, helped you design products that we find in GM well, today? Well, I, I don't design, you know, I, I have designers, so I'm more like the coach of the product development activity, but the passion for automobiles and the fact that it was a childhood passion, that never left me. It greatly worried my parents, you know, what what's going to become of our boy? All he does is, doesn't do his homework, he just sketches cars. Um, I think it, it's helped me a lot in my profession and it helps me, I think having the passion for the product helps you identify with the customer who actually spends his or her money on it. So is the electric car still a dream or is this reality? I think, I think it's moving very close to reality. The first time General Motors did one with the EV1, I, th I think it was too early for the technology. The batteries had a limited range. Uh, they were extremely expensive, but with lithium-ion now really hitting its stride in that camera you're holding, of course, is lithium-ion powered. Lithium-ion now is becoming the ubiquitous portable power source. Up to now, there have been problems in scaling it up, uh, but I, I, we're very confident that the um, some of the newer battery suppliers are going to successfully overcome the obstacles and the battery suppliers that we're working with are supremely confident of being able to pull this off. So um, I think having a battery powered vehicles with a relatively fast recharge time that will do 40, 45 miles purely on batteries and then the internal combustion engine would kick in not to drive the car but only as a portable generator set that replenishes the battery so that the, the vehicle will always be electrically driven. I really think I, I think that's uh, two, three years away. Okay, so the Alfa Romeo, that may have been a dream car. What was your first car? Uh, well, that's because reality is a lot of times different from dreams. My first car was a 1948 Volkswagen Beetle standard transmission, obviously, mechanical brakes, 